these two clips, same camera, same settings, same day. But one looks like a cinematic masterpiece, and the other, flat, boring, and forgettable. Over the next 30 days, I'm pushing my color grading skills to the absolute limit inside Premiere Pro. And today, week one begins. Week one is all about building the foundation, color correction, exposure control, and creating a clean, balanced image before adding any creative style. But here's the twist. I'm re-optimizing my workflow from scratch, ditching my old habits, and grading with the same mindset professionals use. And near the end, I'll show you the one simple tweak that completely transformed my footage this week. I've been editing in Premiere Pro for years, but honestly, my grades were safe. They didn't make people feel anything. And that's the heart of great filmmaking emotion. So I gave myself 30 days to level up, document everything, and share it with you step by step. Week 1 is where we nail the fundamentals because a bad foundation will drain even the most creative grade. First things first, project setup. I'm working in a dedicated color grading sequence. That means I'm not cluttered with sound design or edits, just pure focus on the grade. My clips are sorted into bins based on lighting conditions so I can see how my adjustments affect different situations. Next. I make sure my lumetry panel is docked and my scopes are visible. Waveform, waveform luma, parade RGB, and the vector scope. If you're not using scopes, you're basically grading blind. Even this early in the setup, the goal is speed and clarity. White balancing is your first weapon against flat footage. I start by using the eyedropper tool on a neutral area in the shot, usually something gray or white. That gives me a baseline. But here's the trick. I don't stop there. I adjust the temperature and the tint manually while watching the skin tones on the vector scope. Skin should sit between the red and yellow lines. That's the, the healthy skin zone. And just to prove how important it is, here's the same shot with a bad white balance. Yeah, that's not it. With white balance locked in, my footage is already looking cleaner and more neutral. Next, exposure and contrast. I like to lift my shadows just enough to see detail, but not too much that it looks washed out. Highlights. I pull them down slightly to protect against clipping. I'm watching the waveform here.
making sure my blacks sit around zero and my whites just a kiss 100. That's why nothing is crushed or blown out. The contrast, I avoid going too heavy on this stage. Remember, week one is all about balance, not drama. This way we start giving the image depth color separation. I'll isolate the skin tones using HSL secondary and make sure they're warm and neutral. Then I'll subtly push the background in the opposite direction, a little cooler for separation. This creates contrast not just in light and dark, but in color temperature. This is a major cinematic trick. Now we can have some fun. I'm applying a lot but I don't leave 40 to 60% intensity. Then I tweak the saturation, the curves and the shadows manually. The LUT is just a starting point. It's not the whole grade. Here are some three different LUTs I tested this week. Vote in the comments for your favorite. The last step of week one is consistency. I copy my grade to similar shots, then fine tune each one. This keeps the look uniform while accounting for small changes in lighting. Even at this stage, I'm avoiding perfectionism because week two is where we'll match different cameras and that will change everything. If you're following along with your own grading journey, drop a comment below so we can level up together. Hit the subscribe button because week two is going to be the biggest jump yet. Here is the full week ones before and after. It's clean, balanced, and ready for creative touches in the coming weeks. My biggest mistake of this week over complicating my setup on day one. I wasted hours on unnecessary tweaks. Sometimes, sometimes simpler is really better. Next week, I'm tackling mismatch footage, two cameras, two color profiles, one seamless look. This is where most beginners grades fall apart, so you don't want to miss it. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share it with other creators so we can level up together. Till next week, peace.